My name is Doug Adams, and I've been playing baseball since I was five. I've been playing probably a good 12 years. My injury occurred in freshman year tryouts. I warmed up, and I threw the ball at first base, and my arm snapped, and I fractured my growth plate. It was a loud pop, and my arm was down, and I couldn't lift it. I had to use my other arm to lift it. Initially, we said, okay, let's give it some time. Um, we kept going back to the doctor, like, it was probably three times because he kept saying, well, you know, I think he just needs to work through it. And he didn't seem so concerned. And then at a certain point, we just said, you know what, we need to go to a, a real specialist. Um, and that's where we pursued the hospital for special surgery and Dr. Dines. Doug's case was complicated because oftentimes the ligament will tear, which we see in older baseball players all the time. And that's, you know, if they have it repaired, it's known as Tommy John surgery. Younger kids will actually break the bone where the ligament attaches and it typically heals well. Doug's case was complicated because he had both. The bone had broken, but at the same time, the ligament had been injured as well. So even though the bone had healed and everybody said, okay, you should be fine now, you've done physical therapy, get back to throwing, he wasn't able to because of the concomitant injury. He explained the next steps and then he had told us that surgery would be the last resort. Ideally, if you can reconstruct the ligament, that's probably better for them. But there are good published results that in younger athletes, because they haven't seen a lot of the chronic changes that you would see in a 30-year-old Major League Baseball player, if you, if you repair the ligament, it can heal well, and, and that's what we actually, you know, we were lucky enough to have happen in Doug's case. There was definitely a lot of nerves kicking in, because I hadn't played since eighth grade. It was my first actual high school game, and there was no pain, and once I knew that, I was like, let's play. The majority of our patients are, you know, high school, recreational athletes, and, but whatever they do is, is what's most important to them. So, you know, if we can get them back to doing that, that's, you know, that's, that's really what's rewarding about this and why it's, why it's a fun job.